Hi, I'm Pascal Janssen and I'm presenting Autovis. Autovis is an analysis framework enabling the immersive and interactive analysis of in vehicle interactions, passenger behavior and physiology combined with a replication of the vehicle environment and study context. Today's automotive UI studies often consider numerous factors such as interaction with external HMIs, novel input and output modalities like speech and gesture, environmental context, passenger physiology and temporal sequence of interactions. Consequently, practitioners gather large bodies of heterogeneous spatial temporal data of movements, interactions, audio and video recordings, making human being interaction analysis more complex. Prior work has shown two different approaches. Some works use the non-immersive approach providing holistic overview of the data enabling reproducible and flexible analysis. However, these either focus on a specific research topic such as gaze and touch interactions or only focus on the manual driving and their visualizations are non-interactive. In contrast, immersive approaches provide visualizations in augmented or virtual reality. The immersion can be beneficial to understand spatial data and environmental context. However, immersive approaches currently do not support the automotive UI domain with its unique combination of a moving interaction space and a dynamic environment with numerous road users. Therefore, we present Autovis. The core of Autovis is the synchronized interplay of a desktop and VR view, leveraging the best of both worlds. The desktop view enables non-immersive data analysis. The 2D panel provides a holistic overview of 2D data as line diagrams and events. It hints at interesting sequences via outlier detection and horizontal lines showing the mean. The 3D scene panel replicates a richness study environment using a virtual ego vehicle, other road users, passenger behavior and environmental context. The timeline controls tool-wide playback of the audio 3D scene, video and audio. Additionally, analysts can select and annotate sections on the timeline. Autovis considers four event types, interaction, emotion, driving and activity. These events highlight relevant sequences. For further examination of the data, the VR view enables immersive analysis. Avatars replicate passenger movements from pre-recorded 3D skeleton data and an aggregated avatar visualizes the average positions and rotations of individual avatars. Trajectories visualize hand and head movements for a selected time frame. In addition, in-vehicle gaze and touch heat maps provide an overview of interactions with interior surfaces. Environment gaze and pointing heat maps accurately map the replicated 3D meshes of buildings and other road users. A virtual tablet displays study-related metrics, the 2D panel and events. Analysts can quickly navigate through the scene via camera switches and a timeline. To improve scene navigation, a minimap provides a top-down view of the analyzed environment and Autovis visualizes spatial temporal events along the driving path, indicating their location and orientation. To visualize the link between in-vehicle interactions and environment, context portals provide a glimpse of the reference context. For example, a location or object by showing a spatial temporal next to the avatar's finger or head. Analysts can place annotations to leave hints, descriptions and opinions for collaborators or when switching between desktop and VR. Besides, analysts can use the labels to annotate their dataset, for example for deep learning applications. In addition, desktop and VR, a pass-through VR view leverages rear vehicles, interior visuals and haptics for an immersive analysis specific to the automotive domain. Autovis places the 3D visualizations at intended positions within the rear vehicle inferred from a dataset. Analysts can selectively activate the pass-through for specific interior locations. We also provide a companion tool that pre-processes data according to the Autovis data specification. The companion converts low-level signals such as pupil size into a high-level information such as cognitive load or drowsiness. We use state-of-the-art deep learning such as DeepFace, OpenPose or YOLO. We demonstrate Autovis using authentic data from the use case of multimodal in-vehicle interaction. For this, we simulated a ride in an automated vehicle in a downtown San Francisco to represent a typical study. Participants can freely interact with multiple modalities, touch, gesture, gaze and speech. After loading the data in Autovis, analysts can start the analysis according to their research goals. In our use case, the goal is to investigate the usability of multimodal interactions depending on the context, time difference, order and their usage. The heat maps and the avatars help to identify behaviors. Some participants gaze galactically at the targeted and pointed close to the gaze hit, while others pointed in mere directions with bent elbows. The action events on the timeline highlight a time difference between the interactions of 0.5 seconds. The head movements indicate that the participants mostly ignore the other passengers except during an initial conversation. 
In addition, the heat maps show a widespread pattern indicating that participants likely were curious about an unfamiliar setting and explored the interior by looking around and touching it. The environment heat maps also reveal that participants interact with the unexpected cyclist. In our second use case, we demonstrate how AutoVis converts and visualizes real world datasets. For this, we leverage Drive and Act, which is a dataset for driver activity recognition captured in manual and autonomous driving. In AutoVis, analysts can perceive the automatically recognized body positions and movements during drive activities from any point of view. In our third use case, we demonstrate how AutoVis integrates a real vehicle into the analysis. For this, we recorded an exemplary dataset in a BMW to analyze the novel UI concept for an air conditioning control specific to the driver's seat from the driver's point of view using pass-through VR. The analysts discovered that participants primarily interacted with the center console instead of the door where the novel UI was located. Besides, they found a mismatch between the door button layout of the real vehicle and the simulator vehicle used in the study. To evaluate out of this, we conducted heuristic walkthroughs according to Olsen within these use cases. Our use cases demonstrated that Autovis meets most heuristics. However, some heuristics are not met. Autovis currently does not fully empower novices, as navigating an automated dataset in VR can be overwhelming. Besides, scalability is not met yet, as visualizations may overlap with increasing dataset size, number of objects, for example in pedestrian crowds or traffic jams. During implementation, we also gathered some insights. The visualizations supposed to enhance collaboration could occlude the visualizations of individual users. A safe analysis using the pass-through VR can only be performed as passenger and analysis during driving is only possible when driving the same study route. Besides, imperfect real-world data may result in limited or missing visualizations. In addition, automatic inferences in the pre-processing could be erroneous and cause misinterpretations by users. Finally, Autovis can also serve as an analysis tool beyond the interior when a vehicle is equipped with the right sensors. With Autovis, we aim to facilitate analysis of human-vehicle interaction. For more details, see our paper and the open source code available on our demo website.